We got three more acts. Kevin O'Brien is next. Give it up for Kevin O'Brien! Evening, everyone. So it took me a while to get here tonight because there's like three Greggs and a McDonald's between the station and here. <laughs> I've had a lot of bad luck lately. Give me an R. The girlfriend left me. I didn't ask for that one. She said I preferred my puzzle box more than her, which was true. But five years together, never a crossword. <laughs> so the neighbours had a go at me for watching him through my binoculars. <laughs> I can see where they're coming from. <laughs> so I've been trying to make a sex tape. Which is highly believable, isn't it? <laughs> but I've not been able to finish it because the neighbours keep closing the curtains. <laughs> I mean, they're a lovely couple. I was round their house wine tasting the other night. I just hope they don't find out. <laughs> so I went to the doctor's. She said, I think you're an acute alcoholic. I said, thank you very much. You're not too bad yourself. She said, I've got a prescription for your insomnia. I said, let me sleep on it. <laughs> she said, I think you've got crystal issues. I said, I don't believe you. <laughs> I said, anyway, can I have a second opinion? She said, yes, you're also a prick. <laughs> She's a very young audience, so you might not remember that fateful day when uh, Puff Daddy changed his name. Anybody remember that? Yeah. I can because my brother called me up and he said, Kevin, are you sitting down? I said, yeah. He said, I've got some really bad news for you. I said, what is it? He said, Puff Daddy's changed his name. I said, did he? So I was watching the news the other day. There's some mad things on the news these days, isn't there? And they were talking about banning pencils and rulers in schools. I mean, where do you draw the line? <laughs> you notice I don't move when I tell that story because it's a stationary joke. <laughs> so... <laughs> So I've had a lot of time on my hands lately, so I've been teaching my dog to roll over and beg. And he's really got into it. I mean, he came on with £4.27 the other day. <laughs> and a bag of dog biscuits. Yeah. You let me keep the biscuits. So I've had a really nice review lately. He said, this guy's one to watch. That was from the Manchester Police Surveillance Team. <laughs> Another one, he said, this guy's magnetic. That was from Manchester Airport Security. <laughs> so I've written a book. It's called My First Year in Stand-Up Comedy. And after tonight, I might write another one called My Last Year in Stand-Up Comedy. <laughs> so I've just celebrated my 60th birthday the other day. Thank you very much. So my brother called me up and he said, we're going to do something exciting this year. I said, what? He said, we're going to take down the statue of Isaac Newton for his excessive use of force. <laughs> I said, are you sure you've considered the gravity of the situation? <laughs> he said, what goes up must come down. 
No, I saw an advert on TV the other day. It said, we can insure anything. I thought, we'll see about that. <laughs> nice one, Cam. Good stuff. Chico, P. Well done.